buddy. This is Jeff underscore McNeil here. You can call me Jeff. But let me just say I got some interesting news for y'all. Well, the interesting news would be, well, it's not really interesting news. It's something uh, interesting that y'all might like. <laughs> but anyway, starting it off with, I just uh, proposed to my girlfriend through phone. She said yes, and I have actually gotten her an engagement ring. I have sent it through the mail. <laughs> And, yeah, the <laughs> type of ring, it's an awesome, beautiful ring, and the thing is, <laughs> it fits her just right, and everything, so, right now, I'm currently engaged. I'm 23, she's 34, she's 10 years older than me. Well, right now it's 24. I turned 24 later this year. We were both born in 95. I mean, uh, we were both, I was born in 95, she was born in 1985. And, uh, yeah. Lives over in Moorhead. We actually do video chats and whatnot. And, yeah, we even try to call every day and we, I <laughs> do text every day. She's looking for work while I'm actually uh, working. And um, I can tell you how we met. Well, about sort of last year, well, July 25th, 2018, it was about a week after my dad died. I went out to a bar after work to uh, to go have a drink. Next thing I know, she walked into the bar about five minutes after I do. I was drinking beers at the time. Uh, the beer that I was drinking, it was Budweiser on tap at a bar in the town that I used to live in that I moved out of. And, um, yeah, at that bar, yeah, she walked in, came up to me, said, hey, sexy, what's the, the what's the matter? Why are you crying? Or why are you upset? She literally kind of said it like that, but kind of like this. Hi, sexy. How are you? Oh, you're, you're crying? What, what's wrong? Tell me your troubles. I'll buy you a drink or two. Then again, with this bar, I was in a walking distance of home. So I didn't even drive, so I just walked. And, yeah, with the, uh, I told her my stories. I told her on how, re on Harold, recently that my dad, he did die. And... I was pretty much left out, uh, left out on my own, but yeah, I told her that whole story, including that I'm still technically married, but uh, separated, I'm still trying to get the funds for a divorce, trying to raise money for that, and, and I told her that whole story about how my soon-to-be ex-wife tried to kill me, she tried to kill my dogs. She tried to blame me and my dad as sex offenders, even though we were not. She made up stories and everything, and yada, yada, yada. Anyway, my girlfriend, or should I say my fiancé now, we, um, we actually met. She lives all the way across the state. I do believe in long-distance relationships. She is not fake. Not at all. And... Yeah, the drinks that she was buying me were a combination of beer and a uh, hard liquor like Jack Daniels. I did manage to have a. Sorry, I did manage to have a uh, boiler maker, 
which consists of whiskey and beer. I got messed up pretty quick. We got to know each other a little bit. She gave me her number, and yeah. I did not know her name was Angie, but when I looked at my contact list, when I woke up at home, when I woke up at home, I was like, who is Angie? And I'm like, Angie. oh, that was the girl I met at the bar last night. Yeah, we got to talking more, and yeah. It's pretty awesome, though. She's about the same size as I am, to those that actually know how big I am. She's beautiful. Yeah, she's never been married. She's a virgin. But I'm not a virgin. But yeah. I do plan on marrying this girl after I get divorced. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <sighs> yep. <laughs> yeah. We, of course, we met at a bar and whatnot. And she does not mind big people because she is a big person herself. But yeah. <laughs> so, this, we partially did meet online, though. Oh, and the reason why she was in my area, she was visiting someone that was in the hospital. I can't remember who she said was in the hospital. But let me tell you this. It was pretty much because of, I think it was her best friend or well, one of her friends in the hospital. That is also her cousin. Yeah, I can't remember. It was pretty much a year ago. And I still know the story, though. She is hot. And guys, if you were to see her, your pickle would fly right off. Women, you would get a lady boner if you saw her. But yeah. If you like this, I'll try to see if I can come up with a part two of this story. Because I know there's more to it than I remember. <laughs> but yeah. If you like this, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. More importantly, don't forget to click that notification bell so you never miss any of my content. This is Jeff underscore McNeil, signing off.